best free text-to-speech software for Androids 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the best free text-to-speech software for Android users and Android phones in 2024. So, you know, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure that many uh, YouTubers like yourself or many workers like yourself are seeking to create great podcasts and voice generations and the creators are no different. Are you looking for a way to take your YouTube videos to the next level or maybe your podcast to the next level? And have you been struggling to find the best text-to-speech app for your Android device? Don't worry. I've got you covered, okay? In this video, I'm going to be showing you which text-to-speech software is the absolute best for every Android user out there, so don't miss out and watch now to discover the best text-to-speech app for your device. So basically, let's start things off. We're going to examine all the great applications, okay? So the first application or the basic features, like many TTS Android apps, text-to-speech software for Android operating systems. It will have a few basic features in common. So you'll be able to, for example, translate text on your device's screen into voice. You can also select the voice you want to hear and adjust the playback speed. There are a few key distinctions to be aware of between each app. We and I also tested the best free text to speech software in terms of user experience, performance, output, and any pricing upgrades to help you find the right tool. Okay. And a word of caution in life, you tend to get what you pay for. Though many of you might be excited about the free text to speech apps, don't forget to make the quality match up and that's simply guaranteed and also i also can guarantee youtube will monetize your free tts software in my opinion they simply don't sound human enough okay however if you're willing to try them on your channel let me know how it goes okay so for each of the application i've come up uh, with the, a random script that we're going to use and let's see how it goes okay so the first text-to-speech software that we're going to look at is called speechify Okay, now Speechify is a very, um, you could say, popular and a well-used uh, text-to-speech software. Okay, a lot of people use it, and uh, it has a pretty good famous uh, curve hook. It has a great user interface. It's purely AI, and as you can see, I'm going to play this right now. Welcome to Speechify. And then I'm going to play Snoop Dogg. Yo, it's Snoop D-O-double-G, and I'm an English voice from the United Hi, my name is Joe. So, you know. And that's how you can use this incredible application. Now, Speechify, as I said, has a pretty steep learning curve and the user interface is pretty incredible. And you can start along with this as well. And it is different from other softwares because it, it can actually turn physical books into audiobooks. And you can actually use uh, character optimizations, okay? And, uh, you know, if you find reading difficult, which makes day-to-day -day tasks stressful, Speechify assists people with, you know, things like dyslexia and stuff to convert text to speech to, you know, hear things out rather than reading them, right? So that gives us a general idea. And you can then save the audio as an MP3 or a WAV file, however you want to go with it. And if you are a YouTube content creator, you can still use the software for your voiceovers. And it's pretty incredible. It's pretty nice. You're just going to need to sign up with this. And look at that. You can just use any voice. Let's say I want to use Snoop Dogg as my training voice. Type, paste, and edit text here to convert it to speech. Or drag and drop your word, text, or PDF file. So you get the idea on how Speechify works and how the features of Speechify correspond with the actual working of it. You know, it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. And I would definitely urge users to use this. Okay, it's one of the best speech apps out there. Then we're going to move over to another app called Natural Reader, okay? So here we have Natural Reader, AI Voices, and uh, Natural Reader at home. You have your application for this as well, as well as your Google Chrome store. So AI text-to-speech Natural Reader, the number one text-to-speech solution for personal, commercial, and educational use, okay? All these characters are over here to use from as well. You can get started absolutely for free. AI text-to-speech for absolute personal use, and you can uh, drag and drop your files or type and paste your other files. Natural readers can convert your text and PDF and 20 plus formats into spoken audios as well, which is, uh, again, pretty incredible. And uh, you have different things like cross-platform compatibility, one account, all of natural readers, and a whole lot more. So, you know, these are pretty easy, fun, and incredible things to get 
get uh, your head around. And, uh, you know, the features of Natural Reader are pretty good as well. Uh, it's pretty much like Speechify, but the one downside is Speechify gives you voices of actual people and celebrities. Natural Reader, on the other hand, gives you the voices of, you know, just basic templates of voices that, uh, you know, people would sound like, right? So you can also just test it out from the product section and uh, get the actual personal reader working plans over here. So AI plus voices, synthesized AI voices brings you the highest quality. Good evening. We have a packed show for you, including. I can't wait to see where life takes me in the years to. Good morning. Welcome to. I can't wait to see where life takes. So you get a whole idea of how different voices work. So that's basically natural reader for us, right? Then moving on, let's go over to our next app, which is called T2S, okay? So T2S is a text-to-voice and read-aloud app. Okay, it works pretty incredibly, and it gives you a good idea of how the features work. So it's an open text EPUB PDF files read-aloud, and uh, the features, as you can clearly see, you can convert any text file into an audio file. It's a pretty straightforward app, okay? It doesn't give you all, you know, those thingamajiggies talking about itself and all. It's literally T2S means text to speech, right? So any text you write, it's going to read it out aloud. And it's pretty straightforward. It just gives you a page like this. So just write any text that you want, just like this. And you're going to choose the type of speech, the type of voice, that you wanted to output that voice in and it's probably going to do that so you know just imagine a software that is that straightforward and does things that quickly for you and that's pretty incredible right so that's pretty much uh t2s and uh t2s as i said is uh, pretty nice i like how it works i like the whole vibe and aesthetic of it and the user interface is pretty nice as well so moving on to the final tts software the final software is Voice Aloud Reader, okay? So here we have Voice Aloud Reader, okay? I'm going to load that up. So here you have Voice Aloud Reader. Again, a pretty well-known application, well-used application. Uh, you can come scroll down over here. You have your, you know, Wikipedia and stuff that uh, you can get your head around. And it helps you a lot when it comes to working with it you know add any types of details any types of working that you want with it any types of text that you want to add add it all in the easiest way you can get the best amount of uh, you know speeches and the ai voices that you use depend on it as well like in some cases people might use ai voices that are to you know sound like robots or maybe they sound like um they just don't sound real basically if you know what i mean so if your voices are giving those vibes, then you can obviously scrape it off. But yeah, that's pretty much about it when it comes to using all the best, you know, TTS apps on your Android. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.